fifth method of solving differential equation is going to be by Bernoulli's equation. So solving differential equation by Bernoulli's equation. So how do we go about this particular method of solving differential equation? Now, this is actually related to integration and um, integral and um, integrating factor method because we are going to be applying integrative factor method here in Bernoulli's equation. So how do we solve Bernoulli's equation? Now, the first step in solving Bernoulli's equation is to express it in this form. Now, if this, the equation given can be expressed in this particular form, we solve using Bernoulli's equation, as simple as that. So now, let's check if this can actually be expressed in this form. Now, this question is was taken from um, a past question of 20 slash 29 slash 2020 MTS 315 Federal University of Technology past question 1c so now let's check if this question can actually be expressed in this form so dividing now to check if this can be expressed in this form we eliminate any any coefficient of dy dx right so dividing both sides by x here in this equation dividing both sides by x dividing both sides by x dividing both sides by x what are we going to have we have dy over dx plus 6xy equals 3y is to power 4 over 3. So we see that this can be compared successfully to this. Now, your second step of so of solving differential of solving using Bernoulli's equation is what? Second step of solving using Bernoulli's equation is to divide both sides by the coefficient of q now what is the coefficient of q here is y over n so what's the coefficient of now comparing this first let's compare this so you know what we are doing so comparing this to the actual form of Bernoulli's equation dy equals q y raised to power n so comparing this to this you can successfully see that p is equal to 6 over x right comma q is equal to 3 right then we have y over n where n is equal to 4 over 3 is that taken so now the second step in solving Bernoulli's equation is to divide both sides by the coefficient of y over n so taking the equation dy dx plus 6 over xy equals 3 y 4 over 3 dividing both sides by y is power 4 over 3 dividing both sides by y is power 4 over 3 Dividing both sides by y raised to the power 4 over 3, right? So this is 1 over y raised to the power 4 over 3 dy dx plus 6 over x y. Now, taking these uh, the same variables, right? So applying the rule of indices or logarithm, we have 1 minus 4 over 3, right? Equals 3. Is that taking? So 1 minus 4 over 3 gives me 6 over x y raised to the power minus 1 over 3 equals then 1 over y is power 4 over 3 dy dx is that taken now that is your second step in solving Bernoulli's equation so now what is your third step in solving the Bernoulli's equation multiply both sides by 1 minus n so what is my n my n is what I mean let me write it here divide both sides by y raised to power n in this case my y raised to power n is y raised to power 4 over 3 right the second step is to multiply both sides by 1 minus n in this case my 1 minus n here is 1 minus 4 over 3 right and for 1 minus 4 over 3 which is minus 1 over 3 is that taken so multiplying both sides by 1 minus n we have which is minus 1 over 3 which we have minus 1 over 3 times 1 over y raised to power 4 over 3 dy dx plus minus 1 over 3 6 over x y raised to power minus 1 over 3 right equals 3 times minus 1 over 3 right so here we have minus 1 over 3y 4 is power 3 dy dx plus 
minus 3 in 3, 1, 3 in 6 is 2, right? Minus 2 over x, y raised power minus 1 over 3, right? Then we have equals minus 1. Is that again? Then we can say, let this be equal to dz dx, right? Let this be equal to p1. Let this be equal to z equals let this be equal to q1. Now, why are we assuming letting this and letting that? Because we are trying to get a simple equation in which we can apply by integrating factor. So when you have successfully carried out these two steps, you can say let this first term be equal to dz dx. Anywhere you see your dependent variable while you replace it with z. Let y raised power minus 1 over 3 replace with z. And let its coefficient be p1. And let the factor you are having here be equal to the q1. So you're writing, anyway, see, since my p1 is minus 2 over 3, I have dz dx plus minus 2 over 3 dz, right? My q1 is what? Minus 1. So we have a simple equation in which we can apply integrating factor method. So you see that this is a more simpler this is a more simple simple equation in which we can apply my integrating factor method. So how do we apply my integrating factor method? You know that from the previous example we said integrating you can solve integrating factor method when it is following this particular form dz dx plus py equals q. So you see that this is successfully in unity with this form of equation. So we apply, we solve using the integrating factor method. So the first step we have, we, we find our integrating factor. Now we know that my integrating factor is exponential integral p dx, right? What is my p here? My p, comparing these two equations, my p is equal to minus 2 over x, right? So this is exponential integral minus 2 over x dx. Is that taken? Then, we move on. So, my integrating factor is exponential minus 2, x, 2 over x dx. So, which gives me, taking the constant back to the integral sign, this is minus 2 integral 1 over x dx. So, integral of 1 over x dx, which is equal to exponential minus 2 ln x. So, this is my if, which is my integrating factor. So, the second step using integrating factor is to multiply both sides by your, by your integrating factor, right? So, multiplying both sides by your integrating factor, which will be exponential minus 2 in x. Multiplying both sides by your integrating factor, you're going to multiply this equation by your integrating factor, which is exponential minus 2 dx times dz dx, right? Plus exponential minus 2 in x times minus 2 over x dz equals minus 1 times exponential minus 2 in x. Is that taken? So, we continue solving. Then, then your, our normal method of integrating factor, take the, the integrating factor, which is exponential minus 2 in x, and take the dependent variable, which is z. So, this can also be written as dz, dz exponential minus 2 in x. So, replacing this whole equation, I can write it as this. Equals minus exponential minus 2 in x is that taken so what is our next step is to integrate both sides integrating both sides so now integrating both sides we have z exponential minus 2 in x is equal to integral minus exponential minus 2 in x dx right now following my rule of integrating factor which i said exponential of ln f is equal to what f and here we have exponential minus 2 in x right now this can be written as exponential ln x raised to the power minus 2 right rule of log logarithm so exponential of ln x raised to the power minus 2 will give me x raised to the power what? minus 2 so this is z times anywhere i see exponential of ln exponential of minus 2 ln x I replace it with x raised to the power minus 2. This is x raised to the power minus 2 is equal to minus taking the minus back to the, the integral sign. This is minus exponential, my exponential minus 2 in x dx, right? 
So anyway, I say exponential minus 2, then x I put to replace it with x to the power minus 2. This is minus integral 1 over x to the power 2, which is x to the power minus 2, right? dx z times x to the power minus 2. Is that taken? So integrating this, integrating 1 over x to the power minus 2, which is minus x to the power minus 2 plus 1 over minus 2 plus 1 plus c, right? So this gives me minus x minus over minus 1 divided by minus 1 plus c. Where minus comes to minus, this is equal to x to the power minus 1 plus c, right? Equal to z times x to the power minus 2, right? So, so this can also be written as z times 1 over x to the power 2 equals 1 over x plus c. Multiplying all through by x to the power 2 will give me z equals x to the power 2 over x plus c x to the power 2. Now, my z, you know, we assume that z is equal to y raised to the power 1 minus n, which is equal to y raised to the power 1 minus 4 over 3, which is equal to y raised to the power minus 1 over 3, right? That is what we assume z to be as. So, replacing z with y raised to the power minus 1 over 3, I have y raised to the power minus 1 over 3 equals x, 1x to cancel 1x, right? Plus c x to the power 2. So writing this, I have 1 over y raised to the power 1 over 3 to be equal to x plus c x to the power 2. Is that taken? So if I can want to write this in a more simplified sim simplify term, this is y raised to the power 1 over 3 equals 1 over x plus c x to the power 2. Taking the cube root of this particular taking the cube of this particular equation, taking the cube of this, then I can see my final equation can be written as y is equal to 1 over x plus cx square raised to power what? 3. So that is my final answer. So that is all we have seen on the method of solving differential equation. So in case you can still resolve this particular question or other examples we've taken and see how it is done and if there's any error you can rectify it. Thank you so much for watching.